Hi everyone. In today's DIY projects, we're crafting with Dollar Tree items. We'll be creating some beautiful home decor items on a budget that you could use to decorate your home. For your shopping convenience, all the items used in today's DIY projects will be linked in the description box below. So do check them out and let's jump right into our first DIY project. For the first project, we're going to be using these garden domes and we're using two of them with one lid. And these are from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to use my alcohol to clean my domes. For this project, we're making a vase. I'm also cleaning the lid. We're also using two macrame hoops. For my macrame ring, I'm going to be using my Gorilla Wood Glue and I'll add a small amount of water to make it thin so I can paint my hoops. And I'm just using the glue as a primer. Then I'll attach my two macrame rings together. Make sure to line them up properly. I'm also making a small vessel to match my vase and I'm going to be using these mini round bowls and I'm using two of them. For this vessel, I'm also using one macrame hoop and I'm doing the same thing, priming the area and then I'll take them outside to spray paint them. For my domes, I'm using my Rust-Oleum white gloss and for the hoops and the lid, I'm using my reflective gold spray paint. Now they're dry, I'll just connect the lid to my dome and then I'll connect the two rings to my dome and join the two of them together. Just try to get it centered. And I'm using my strong adhesive for this project because it gives me more time to get them leveled. Now for my small vessel, I'm just using my one macrame hoop to connect them and the hoop will sit directly over that ring on the base. For this one, I'm just using my hot glue. And here's how this project turned out guys. I hope you like this one. Let's move on to the next project. For this project, we're making a mirrored tray. I'm going to be using 20 macrame rings and I'm using my small zip ties to connect them. Just make sure to pull it tight enough for them to touch, but not too tight. I'm also using this pizza pan from the Dollar Tree. You can get the macrame rings at the Dollar Tree in packs of two, but it's more economical to buy them in bulk. And that's what I did. So I'll leave the link in the description box below. Now I have 20 of them together and I'm just going to connect them. And they should all be sitting flat on the surface. So just adjust the zip ties so they can all sit flat on the surface. I'm also using a large bamboo hoop and I'm going to connect my hoop using my strong adhesive. And I'll just connect that hoop going right around that edge of the pizza pan. It will sit directly on the edge. All the items I'm using, I'll link them in the description box below. You can find the description box below the title. It says more and I'll link all the items there for you. I placed it upside down to dry and I just added some weights. In the meantime, I'm cutting the excess pieces from the zip tie. And I'm also going to be using my Gorilla Wood Glue with some added water to make it a little bit runny so I can prime my wood pieces. And you can use a foam brush. It may be faster than this um, bristle brush. Try not to get the glue in the seams. We're going to be putting glue in the seams, but not yet. 
Now my pizza pan and my hoop is almost dry and my wooden piece is also dry. So I'm going to go ahead and assemble them. I need that contact between the hoops and the rings. So I'm just going to use my painter's tape to keep them intact. Now that they're dry, I'm removing the tape and I'm adding my wood glue in the seams. Now that's dry, I'll take it outside and spray paint it. And I'm using my Rust-Oleum Reflective Gold Spray Paint. And I'm spray painting the entire thing going around the edges, on the inside and the outside. Now I'll remove my zip ties because we have that contact with our glue. Now I'm going to be adding some rhinestone ribbon to connect them in the joint. And this is just for decorative purposes. If you like any of these projects, I'm going to please ask you to give me a thumbs up. It really helps to support my channel. Another way that you can support my channel is by leaving me a comment. It doesn't have to be an entire sentence, just one word is good enough. And you can also support my channel by sharing this video. Just share it with one contact in your phone. All right. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. The rhinestone ribbon is self-adhesive, but I'm using some added um, hot glue just to make it stay in place. Looking good, looking good. Now it's just time to add our mirror and I'm using a 12 inch mirror. And I added a piece of cardboard underneath so we can have that contact between the pizza pan and the mirror. Just cut the edges from the cardboard or cut it like half an inch less than the mirror so it can sit properly. Use your strong adhesive to attach it. Add some weights. Allow it to dry for at least 24 hours. And I'm cleaning my mirror. And here's how this project turned out guys. I hope you like this one. Let's move on to our next project. We're going to be using nautical rope and I'm using four packs of those. And for this project, we're making a wall decoration. The rope is cotton, so I'm going to be staining the ropes and I'm using just this tempura paint that I have. I'm mixing about one tablespoon with one cup of warm water and I'm going to um, submerge the rope in there and just squeeze the excess water out. And this will change the color and you can use whatever color you have mine turn out to be gray and some parts have more gray than others depending on how much water i squeeze from the rope it came out looking nice um different tones of gray i'm just squeezing the excess water and i left it overnight to dry i'm also using a 20 by 20 canvas and a nine inch mirror from the dollar tree I place the mirror in the center, just try to get it centered. I use my marker to outline that mirror and then I'll take my rope and go right around the mark. I'm just using my hot glue to place the rope and I'm twisting and pulling while I'm going so it can look nice and neat. So just make sure your mirror fit before you continue to go right around and mine fit very snug and I'll just continue going right around with my rope.
and we're almost at the end. I was left with about half an inch of the canvas on each side. So now I'll just cut that little piece off the end with my scissors. Use my hot glue to seal it. And close it right there. And I'll just use my scissors to take off that inside piece so it can um, lay flat. I decided to change the color of my canvas. It was previously white, but um, white is not going well with this gray tone. So I'm just covering up my robe so I can spray paint my canvas. And I'm going to be using my matte black spray paint to spray paint the canvas. Now it fits the mirror and it matches well with the different tones of gray. So I'm just going to attach my mirror in the center and I'm not using any glue. Um, just in case I want to change it, the color down the line, it fits very snug inside. And to add a little bit of life to this wall decoration, I'm using my gold foil. And to attach my gold foil, I'm going to be using my tacky glue. I'm just using the paper to push my gold foil in place. And I'm just going to continue on the other end and this will be the side. And I was just trying to cover up mostly where I have the joints. And I'm using this Nexus um, hairspray. You can use any hairspray to hold it down. Now I'll join both ends together so it can look like one gold strip running right through. And I'm just making it overlap the mirror frame just a little bit. And here's how this project turned out, guys. I hope you like this one. Let me know which project was your favorite this week and if you'll be recreating any of them. If you missed last week's video, here it is on the screen. Just click that rectangular box to watch. Please remember to share this video with someone that you think may be interested and give me a thumbs up before you leave. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your time. Take care and I'll talk to you in my next one. Bye-bye.